The Lord said as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. Dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for Thomas Gillen Jr. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as you can notice, we are not wearing purple today, but we are in white, because today is the solemnity of the Annunciation of our Lord. That is why we will invite you when we will say the creed to genuflect, when we said he was incarnate by the Virgin Mary, we are invited to genuflex, then bow as we do as usual. So dear brothers and sisters, today, nine months before Christmas, we are celebrating the Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ, sent by God the Father. The angel Gabriel went to our mother Mary to announce the good news, to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So, dear brothers and sisters, for any time we did not see, we did not recognize the presence of God in our life. For any time we went far away from this divine presence because of our sin. Let us open our hearts to God's mercy before we offer this sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I am greatly sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have had to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, 
Holy begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. Jesus Christ. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me, holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. I am Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll <clears throat> it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hidden within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as it is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrificings and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated, through the suffering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born shall be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing will be impossible for God. Nothing. Dear brothers and sisters, as you know, this coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, and we start the Holy Week to celebrate the Passion death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. But before that, today, we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of our Lord. The Church wants us to bear in mind that the mystery of Pascal, the Easter mystery that we are going to celebrate is related to the mystery of the Incarnation. And 
as we heard in both first and the second readings, that's beautiful words coming again and again. And even in the responsorial psalms, here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. The will of the Father is for you, all of us to stay with him forever. That is why he created us. But as you know, because of our sins, we went far away from him. But God remains faithful to his covenant with us. He sent us again and again prophets. But when the time was fulfilled, he was looking for someone who can come to do his will of getting a new covenant with the entire people. And Jesus, his only begotten son, is the one who came to do the will of God, our Father. With Jesus, there is no sacrifice anymore, but the unique and perfect sacrifice is Jesus himself. To show us the love of God among us. God with us, Emmanuel, that is the name of Jesus from the Annunciation, Emmanuel, God with us. And indeed, dear brothers and sisters, God is with us through his only begotten Jesus who came to reveal him among us. Emmanuel. And Jesus himself followed the example of his father by the love, by love for us, he gave his own life so that all of us can be saved according to the will of his father. And still now, dear brothers and sisters, God is with us through his words, through the Holy Eucharist we offer every day. God is with us. But dear brothers and sisters, sometimes we forget about that presence of God in our own lives, especially in those moments of challenge. We look for God far away, but God is not far anymore. That is the mystery of the incarnation, the mystery of the Annunciation. God came to be with us, one with us. So we don't need to go look for God far away. In the moment of challenge, I really like that Psalms. Be with me, Lord, when I'm in trouble. Be with me, Lord, I pray. Be with me, Lord, when I'm in trouble. Be with me, Lord, I pray. God is so close, dear brothers and sisters. And this became possible thanks to Mary, our mother Mary, 
I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy word. What a faith. We also, dear brothers and sisters, we are the handsmaid of our Lord. So, let the will of God be done in each of us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and of our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and the conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and he was again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our petition to God, our Father, for ourselves, for the church, and for the entire world. Abraham, our father in faith, may keep the church and her holy ministers faithful to God's covenant in our own age. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in positions of power and influence may keep God's judgments before them as a covenant of life and of peace. We pray to the Lord that Jesus, who reveals his divine name to us in today's gospel, may enable us to keep his word and glorify him by our faithful obedience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers and for those who are most in need of prayer at this time, that our loving intercession and the offering of this mass may gain them healing and grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord that Jesus, who promised that those who keep his word will never see death, may free our departed loved ones from every bond of sin and bring them into the kingdom of the living. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are glad. And for Thomas, for whom this mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Lord our Father, hear the petition we present you in this Annunciation Solemnity. In the name of Jesus, your Son, who became man to be with us, and may his mother, our mother Mary, intercede for us sinners as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. <clears throat> Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up. thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary had with faith 
Thus the Christ was to be born among men, and for men say, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb. Thus the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we are clear. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, on 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also Thomas and our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us exchange the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Emmanuel, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under me, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel.
On behalf of those joining us by video, we say the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is through God and through man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, make to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.